What's up, Internet? A few years ago, I requested to try an ROG gaming laptop. And the laptop itself was pretty good. I think it was one of the SCAR series. But what really stuck with me was the headset that came with it, the original ROG Delta. I was blown away by how good that headset sounded. As in literally, ever since then, I would look back and think na that was the best headset I've ever tried. And I was super spoiled. I didn't want to go back to my other headsets after trying the ROG Delta. Now, I'm not an audiophile. I don't get very technical about headsets. I know what I like to hear. And the Deltas really made an impression on me. Here we are in 2024 and ROG has released the Delta 2. And is this an experience of reconnecting with a long lost love? Or is it more like that time you met a stranger once at a party, you were super into each other, and then you see that person years later and you wonder why you thought they were so special in the first place. Now I don't mean to be that YouTube jerk that drops a teaser and then leaves the conclusion to the end. You know, longer watch time, more engagement, more views, please like and subscribe. But it really is a mixture of both with the Delta 2s. There are a lot of things about the Delta 2s that I like which weren't in the original Delta. But there's also one thing about the original Delta that isn't in the Delta 2. So for the things I like, the mic is phenomenal. The best I've tried with the headset, you don't even think it's a headset. To my untrained ear, the audio sounds like my regular microphone, the Elgato Wave 1. Some customers don't know anything about computers, that's why they come to you and the original build that they have is really bad and we help them, we give them better value for their money. So it's like, does that make sense? It does. It does make sense. Good night, internet. Setup is easy and intuitive. Both are Bluetooth and if you opt to use the RF receiver, which I do because my computer doesn't have Bluetooth, my motherboard didn't come with it. I like the design choice to use a triangle slot for the microphone. And there's so many holes in a modern headset, it can be confusing where to plug in the mic. I've had this trouble with other headsets before. The Delta 2's mic has a triangular outline at the end which corresponds to the only triangle on the headset. So you intuitively know where to plug it in. It's dummy proof and this dummy really appreciates that. A streamer friend mentioned to me that she really liked the original Deltas but that they were too heavy for her to use for really long gaming sessions. I did a 3 hour straight gaming session with the Delta 2s. Oh, I'm out of force. Oh shit, I'm out of force. Oh, take it in! Motherfucker! Oh. Oh. <laughs> the Lord Almighty! Admittedly, that might not be long for some people, but for an old person like me, medyo mahaba haba, medyo matagal na yun. And the experience was comfy. You can definitely go for a long time using the Delta 2s. The headset is not heavy or cumbersome. Your ears can get a little sweaty the longer you go, but that's just really the trade-off you make when using a headset. Fit was comfortable as well. I think it's made for especially big heads because when I used it, I kept it at its smallest possible opening and I didn't need to adjust the earphones lower. Battery life is also very good. ROG says to expect around 110 hours. I always take these kind of claims with a grain of salt because everyone's use varies. But for me, in the 6 weeks or so that I was testing the Delta 2, I only charged it twice. One at the beginning and one at the very end of the review period. Now granted, I'm not a very heavy user but considering all of the live streams I've done with it plus the times I've used it na I didn't stream, those all add up to a lot of hours on a single charge. And when I finally did run out of charge, it told me well in advance. The headset will give a warning message na low bat na siya. But even from the time that I first heard that message, I got an hour plus stream pa before it conked out. And that stream was using both the audio and the microphone. Another positive is like the ROG Cetra True Wireless Speed Nova which we reviewed a couple of months ago, 
The Delta IIs can take input from two sources at the same time. So let's say you're attending a boring meeting on your work laptop, you connect the Delta IIs using Bluetooth to the laptop and then connect to your desktop via the RF receiver. So you can play on your desktop and hear both audio, game, and meeting simultaneously. And Jay's numbers show a lot of similarity in the before and after, with a slight dip in the Geekbench test and a more pronounced one in the TimeSpy Extreme CPU test. Cyberpunk at 1080 also lost about 3% FPS. Two source input seems like a gimmick at first, but once you start using it, you notice it's very convenient for a lot of situations. Aesthetically, the headset looks sleek. There is some RGB, which to be honest, you're never gonna see because you don't see it when you actually have the headset on. But it's good if you're a streamer, you know, the audience can appreciate the RGB. And to be honest, I really like how it looks. I'm just kind of bordering the cups, flashy, but not over the top. My one knock on the aesthetic is the foam they have on the mic. This feels like a retro touch, which isn't in keeping with the modern look of the headset. Now granted, that foam might have some audio purpose. Pop filter, protection for the mic, etc. Pero aesthetically, I could do without it. Parang it makes it look dated. For headset reviews, dati uso yung flex to see if there would be any creaks on the theory that a high quality headset would not creak. Now, I think this is a very weird theory, pero anyway, sige, ginawa natin. I flexed it and the Delta IIs did not creak when flexed and they are flexing now behind me. Ang dami ko sinabi, you notice I haven't said anything about the audio. Now actually, the audio quality is very good. But to be honest, for me, not excellent. Like, I would grade it just a shade lower than the Cooler Master MH570s, which are my main headset, which I also like a lot. The audio, while very clear, lacks oomph, yung that kind of little extra sizzle. Like, when something explodes in a game, yes, I hear the explosion with the Delta IIs, but it doesn't feel like a particularly large or impressive explosion. For audio cues, like the crackle of a force field, the flap of a flag in the wind, those subtle details in audio you can really catch with the Delta IIs. It's good at expressing those well. It's just that the acoustics feel a little weak for me. Kind of like how you're expecting the acoustics of an opera house and then you get the acoustics of a concert hall. Still very good, but the problem was you already had such high expectations from the get-go. Now, I know I'm describing things very subjectively, and again, I'm not an audiophile. I would have just wanted a bit more juice, liveliness, yung, that, yung, that kind of sound that resonates in your head. Now, it's possible that you could mess around with the settings of the Delta IIs to get the sound that is more pleasing to you, but I'm the kind of user that doesn't want to get into that. And again, just being honest with my personal preferences, the kind of user I am for headsets. For my audio stuff, I want them sounding really pleasing out of the box, no tweaking required. And the original Delta IIs had that extra sparkle, that little oomph that made the audio such an experience for me. And to be honest, maybe it's a me not you situation. I just built up the memory of the original Delta in my head so much that the successor couldn't possibly compete. And I do acknowledge that the sounds of the Delta II are very good. They just come up a little short to what I was expecting. Now these would be my go-to headset for stream since I love the quality of the microphone and the audio quality is still very good. And of course, they're wireless so that's really great for the streams, especially from the shop or just even here where I'm trying to experiment moving around for the talking streams, the ones where I'm not game streaming. From my experience before, super handy to have a wireless headset, especially when you're running around the shop and trying to discuss things. But if I used my headset exclusively to watch videos or play games without having to worry about using the microphone, I might consider other options besides the Delta II. Thanks for watching.